Actually, I came two years ago to the company after serving 20 years in a, a government company. And what I found is uh, Heiminger, which was uh, about six, six months, months uh, um, in the company, and a lot of issues, a lot of application issues. And since we want to get uh, a quick wins and um, uh, to, to uh, show something else to the company regarding using the application, I've made a decision to I've made a decision to uh, to actually replace all the infrastructure of the company, and we've done it in the last uh, two years. We replaced all the servers, all the storage, all the computers, everything. Uh, and since we've done since we've done it, we um, reduce the downtime of uh, our system to actually one force of what we got two years ago and we have system that people can work with today because everything is running smoothly and uh, we can react to the needs of the company so it really is a, a, a an availability improvement recovery Right, and, and, and then speed of being able to deliver a new function to the business. Right. Yeah. There, were, there were systems that we had running in the company that was planned to be thrown out because there is no, the, the response time was so bad that uh, the decision actually was made to throw them out. And after we've uh, put them on, on new infrastructure and uh, the new cloud, new servers, new storage, now they are working perfectly. So this uh, this journey took uh, about two years, is that right? Yes. Exactly two years. To go from zero to four nines so of virtualization. Right. Exactly from zero, and uh, during those uh, two years, uh, one of uh, the initial uh, uh, dilemmas we had is uh, we needed to build a DR site, and uh, basic uh, uh, thing to do when building a DR site is uh, to put servers and storage that sit and do nothing and just wait for a, a bad uh, for a rainy day to happen uh, on your uh, production site and then those servers and storage are coming up. When we decided to go to, to virtualization we decided to go to an active active data center so our main data center 100%, almost 100% 100 virtualized the DR site is actually running, the servers and the storage are running all of our development and test environment. And we want to do DR, if it's a partial DR, we, we don't affect the development site because it has enough computing power to run a few hundred servers along of the development servers. But on a full DR, I just take down the development servers bring up the virtual, serv the virtual servers of the production and uh, we did actually a DR at half a cost of the usual DR uh, project. Uh, now, we talked about uh, uh, Oracle. We're going to be at SAP Sapphire next week down in Orlando. Uh, SAP as well. Similar experience to Oracle or different experience in terms of the support? Uh, no, uh, actually, the, the uh, full support uh, VMware. Yeah, so so uh, SAP is very much behind VMware. Very right? much behind. That's what we've noticed. Yeah, yeah, very much behind. Actually, when we open the case and uh, ask them uh, if uh, they fully support all the features, like VMotion, they told us that we must use VMotion in order to gather support uh, yeah. for the product. So no problems there. That's good. All right, Yossi and, and, and Haim, thank you very much for coming on theCUBE. I uh, appreciate you sharing your experiences with uh, virtualizing uh, all, all your applications, 99.998% of your applications and your, and your servers. And uh, uh, we really appreciate your perspectives. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Good to have you. Thank you.